Are you serious? Are you serious? Scientists yesterday announced they've discovered three more planets that are very potentially habitable. They are Earth-like planets, and they're orbiting a dwarf star. Uh, yesterday, this international group of scientists claimed they have discovered three distant Earth-like planets that might produce some of the best possible chance to harbor life on another planet that is outside of our solar system. Now, this does not mean that there's any life form there, although there could be some biological cells or it could be, but they're saying that any of these three planets or all of these three planets have the potential to support human life form and human life. If we were to send a, uh, a, a mission launched from Earth with people, they could actually be able to live on these three planets or one of the three. The three planets are said to be around 39 light years away from Earth, and it is being reported that the planets are orbiting a small dwarf star. The three planets are also comparable in size to Earth or perhaps Venus. Uh, Michael Gillian, who is an astrophysicist at the University of Ley in Belgium, told reporters that this is the first opportunity to find chemical traces of life outside of our solar system. Unbelievable. Why are they telling us about these three new planets? What is the, uh, what is the, where's the space industry going? We know they're going to Mars. We know that in 2018, they're going to launch a rocket from Earth to Mars and land it on Mars. And then in the year 2020, they're going to fire another rocket and land it with people on Mars. And that there's a lot of supplies will be in the first rocket. All right. So this is something that's going on right now in a big time way between NASA and SpaceX. And which is SpaceX is a privately held company working in conjunction with NASA. And of course, then you have the Russians and the Chinese and everyone else involved in the International Space Station. How does this all tie and what does this got to do about the end times? Well, we know when Nimrod was trying to build a tower that reached into heaven, that the Lord saw that man had achieved the technology to, to uh, climb into the heavens. So God... Uh, confounded the languages of the earth. Now man is trying to climb into outer, outer, outer space. Will God allow human beings on another planet? Will God allow Mars to have a colony of humans? Or will time come to a screeching halt? Will there be silence in heaven the space of a half hour? Will the final trump be sound before that can ever come around? Well, we'll continue to keep an eye on all the current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Certainly, we're witnessing every day things that are happening and advancing us ever so closer to the coming of Jesus Christ. And even though no man knows the day nor the hour that the Son of Man is coming, we can see the day approaching. And we can certainly witness that there's a presence of, the, of an expectancy. The birthing pains on the earth and the signs in the heavens are pointing toward the coming of Jesus Christ. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. It is time to get right with God. We had 12 people saved on our Sunday night live broadcast. Just a powerful broadcast. And four yesterday during our live broadcast in our chat room live. So we pray that today is the day. If you're watching this YouTube video, today's the day that you give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. That's 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Just go to my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Click at the top where it says live show. Click on it. It'll take you to the page where you can watch the broadcast live. I'll be right back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Are you serious?